Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and uh, Woolworth shoppers or, or Lego collectors or bricks collectors, I shouldn't say Lego. Uh, it's your good pal Oz and today we're going to be reviewing more of the Lego's bricks. We've got um, four more to open up which is not many but um, I haven't needed to do a big shop since my last video so expect uh, just knowing how much food I have left, probably within about uh, the next week, there'll be another big one with probably about 12 or 15 bags to open up. So another big blind bag video is on its way, but for now we'll just open four and then we'll do one of these um, startup packs. So we've got the large truck, delivery truck, figurine pack, and the deluxe pack we did uh, last video, which is over there. So with this one, we'll start with, um, since I'm not opening many of those, how about we do the Woolworths truck today, since it's one of the largest sets. We'll get all these out of the way. And there we go. Okay, so now we got room just for these and these. I'll let you know how the collection is going so far, so I'll quickly show you that. So in uh, last week's video, we opened up a lot of vegetables. Uh, we got two Woolworths employees, two shopping trolleys, and then some uh, random kind of groceries over there. Um, we also created the uh, Starter Pack Deluxe, which is this bad boy. And uh, if you want to get one of these for yourself, because I did get an extra one for my viewers, um, all you gotta do is leave a comment down below uh, just saying anything really. You can say, what was it? I like cats. You can tell me about how much you enjoy cats, how much you enjoy uh, apple pies, anything, whatever you like. Um, as long as I've got a comment from you guys, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to like the video. I don't want to kind of force you guys to do that kind of stuff. But if you leave a comment, then I'll be able to track you down and let you know if you win. So um, yeah, do that if you want to get a uh, Starter Packs Deluxe, this exact same one. Um, but otherwise, in today's video, let's open up these four and also this truck. So we'll assemble it and then give it a quick review, see how good it is. So first things first, let's just lower the camera down. There we go, then we can look at these as we open them up. We'll do these first, get them out of the way. So uh, first up, we have, I don't want any more fruit. I don't know if you saw when I did a quick review of what we've opened so far, but I've got a lot of fruit. Um, and also I've got a lot of trolleys. So here we have another shopping trolley. So we've got three now, which is okay because supermarkets have more than one trolley. So I'm okay having three. If I end up like with 24 <laughs> shopping trolleys, I, I wouldn't be happy with that. Uh, especially since it's, um, you get one of these for every $30. So that's a lot of uh, groceries to make that many trolleys. Um, okay, now next up we have, let's check out what this is. Entrance gates, cool, okay. Uh, it comes with a sticker, this is cool. This is my first kind of bit of infrastructure, I guess you'd call it, for inside the shop, because at the moment, we've got a um, lots of items to sell in the shop. We'll, put, uh, we'll leave the trolley there. Um, but no actual shelves or checkouts or anything like that. So these gates are the first ones here. Um, these are the stickers, looking cool. I might read the instructions, even though there's only four parts. I don't want to get it wrong. Ah, oh, okay, looks like a piece of cake. So, I'll quickly do this. We'll try to get it right. If I do do it wrong, I'll just speed up, the, <laughs> I'll fast forward the, uh, this part and then you won't see me make a thousand mistakes. But uh, so far, so good. Okay, there's one, okay, that, that is horrible. Uh, that is horrible, but we'll leave it there, who cares? I'll fix it later. Um, yeah, I'll do it kind of rough and messy now. Oh, now that I said it, now that, I'm, now that I'm not trying to do it neatly, it's actually coming through. But yeah, don't worry if it doesn't look perfect because I'll, I'll fix it later instead of making you guys wait. Wow, that's just too bad. <laughs> instead of making you guys wait while I try to apply stickers. Who wants to see that? Uh, okay, and then one more. And good enough. Okay, still horrible, but good enough. So that's the doors. Wow, that's bad. And attach that to there. Attach that to there. Okay, so that's the going in gate. And then from the other side, you would see it as that. Now, I don't know where to put these in the supermarket. So for now, I'll leave them over here. We'll open everything and then we'll get into um, installing it in the supermarket. Okay, number three. Ah, oh, 
Oh no, more vegetables. I think there's one more bananas. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got more more vegetables. We'll just dump those into the shopping trolley. Okay, and uh, next one. Uh, hopefully not. Okay, I feel feel maybe more gates. I think this might be more gates. Uh, yeah, more gates. Okay, well we won't put those together because we've already opened some of those. Hold on, I'm missing a piece. There we are. I won't do the stickers for these. But I'll put it like that. So there, that's what we got in our four bags today. We got more vegetables as well as two sets of gates. Maybe, maybe we can entrance gates and egg. No, no, there isn't exit gates at supermarkets. Okay, so we'll, we'll just have to kind of put one of these aside. Um, now we'll go on to building up the truck. So let's quickly, we'll move these. Actually, no, we'll install these. Okay. Now I have not seen any plans on how or where to put things. Um, so for now, until we see otherwise, I'll just put this like this. Okay, so you can come in through the gates. There we have it. Okay, so looking good. So from that side, the there, it's not quite perfect. Oh well, from there it looks like that, through the door. It looks like that, which is pretty good. But we'll move it around. As we get more things to fill the supermarket with, we'll, we'll rearrange the furniture. But that's good for now. Now, uh, let's start assembling this. I'll have, get, have a quick look at the box. Just a picture at the, of the truck at the front there. Uh, nothing on the sides. This kind of tells you everything to, you'll expect to find in the box. Um, so we get another uh, worker there, but this one's wearing a um, safety jacket instead of the normal Woolworths jumper. Uh, but looking good, nothing else there. There we have it. Okay, oh, and another thing, age warning. So five and up, age is five and up for these ones, because it mentions there's uh, choking hazard. Okay, anyway, let's open this and I'll quickly install, um, set it up. I'll do it in fast forward and then we can uh, have a quick review and see if the truck is any good. Hold on, before I start going into crazy fast forward mode, uh, let's see what's inside the bag. So just like a normal Lego set, there's instructions, all the bricks come in the bag. Um, uh, there's there are stickers, yep, there's stickers as well. So um, that, that's very straightforward. And the instructions when building the, um, the store itself, the starter pack, were really straightforward and easy to follow. So I'm assuming this is gonna be the same. So uh, let's do it. Now, here we go, we're back. So, I've got this um, almost all assembled. It's all done, I'm just gonna do the stickers, really, and, oh no, there's, there's a pipe. Oh, this is if you charge it up using, because it's an electric battery one, so you put that in one of these ports, plug it into the wall, which I'll quickly show you. Here we go, electric charging, so you plug that into the wall there, and that's how you charge up the uh, batteries in the old truck. <laughs> or any electric vehicles you may have, um, but it doesn't have to be attached. And uh, the only other thing I've got to do is put the person together. Uh, so we'll quickly do that. I think that goes there. Um, and, and after this, I'll do all the stickers. So there's still the stickers to go. I just wanted you to see what it looked like uh, before the stickers went on. Now this is the exact same model as the, is the here go as the um the hair's always weird oh there we go <laughs> as the the person working in the supermarket they're just all uh must be in the same family maybe the little twins oh no a little bit different this one doesn't have uh lipstick 
<laughs> but otherwise, same haircut and everything like that. Um, and But there are stickers to put on, which we'll do it in a second, so I can see that there's a vest there that you stick on the shirt, so I'll do that. But as assembling it, if you guys are doing this for yourself, and you get stuck at any point, um, I made sure I was holding things up to the camera as doing any tricky parts, so that you can just watch this in slow motion and you'll see the whole process of it being put together. Um, but one thing, which I found really weird, right at the end, look at this. One of the wheels is all messed up. So it's kind of like missing, oh, hold on, camera, microphone's falling on my head, there we go. <laughs> it's missing, uh, like, it looks like it mounted at some point. So it's going to have a flat tire. One of the tires are going to be a bit wonky, but uh, that's all right, that's all right. Anyway, we'll stick it on there. We'll put it in the middle where it shouldn't affect things too much. There we go. Usually... I don't know, it doesn't really, it doesn't affect much. It'll just make our, our truck a little bit more unique. So there we go. Uh, charging port I will put in there. Actually no, we need to put a person in there. We'll put it in the back doors. Hold on. There we go. Uh, we got two extra bricks, which sometimes scares me a little bit having extra bricks. But I think it's okay in this case, because I can't see anywhere where the, oh maybe at the back? There's no, um, no, there doesn't, oh yes there is, it goes at the back, there we go. The instructions, because there's only four steps to the instructions, uh, they try to fit a lot into each step, and it is very easy to miss little things. But there we go, that looks that looks more balanced now. So uh, there's a truck. Now, next thing we're going to do, oh, and, and the driver, uh, next thing we're going to do is put all the stickers on. So let's quickly do that. Okay, now it's all ready to go. So here comes the truck. We got the truck there. Here's the worker. So this is the uh, the the truck driver. Very cool. Got like the uh, the safety jacket on now, which is very nice. Uh, and here is the truck itself. Oh, out of the way. Safety first. There we go. Now here we so let's go through it. It really has kind of come to life now that it's got all the stickers on it. It's not just like a bland grey truck anymore. Uh, it does definitely look like a Woolworths truck now. Uh, so let's have a look. So this truck is 100% electric. They, they they really like to promote that because here's a like a battery meter here to show how much like power the truck has. A uh, little battery symbol there. We'll spin the truck around and then you can see here there's a plug in here sign showing this is where you plug in the uh, electric cable for charging it and then another battery and another kind of power meter there as well. Uh, back doors we got um, well green back doors so green stickers on there we got the the rear lights and on the front we got uh, headlights uh, this big kind of grill on the front there that decal at the top uh, and then the doors have a little bit of little bit of something something as well. So uh, there we go. So so that is the truck. It's very cool. I, I should actually give you a little bit more motion. So to get the person inside it, just lift the roof off. Um, we'll put them into the seat. She might have to stand up. Oh no, she can sit. There we go. So she's sitting in there quite nicely. Uh, we will put that back on. There we go. So there she is in there. Um, and the back doors open up. There's also doors right down the other end, which I might be able to show you. Let's have a quick look. Uh, nope, not without breaking everything, but behind this um, the cockpit or whatever you call the driver's seat area here, there are another two doors right down the other end. Not sure why, but uh, it is kind of cool. Comes with a charging cable like I showed you before. Um, but it is very cool. Like the price of this I think was $10. Um, it may have been more. I'm not too sure. I just kind of like bought them all at once. But it wasn't much. It was either 10 maybe 15 in total. Um, but that's still very cheap for a Lego set. Like because this is compatible with the other Legos, you can use these wheels with your, with your normal Lego set. Um, it's a, just a very cheap way to kind of bulk up your Lego collection. 
So if you need more wheels for your Lego set because your, your child wants to make more trucks or you want to make more vehicles, then uh, this is a good way to like load up on wheels if you just get this $15, $10 or $15, I don't know the price, but uh, you can get this vehicle that way. Um, and I just had a quick look on store too, um, on the online at the Woolworths store, and it doesn't tell me the prices there either. So um, I have to go off my mem memory, and I do know it wasn't any more than $15. Uh, so yeah, if you do see it, grab it, because it is a great way to load up on more bricks. Uh, but yeah, we'll put it there. So, so far, we've got the uh, Dulux starter pack, we've got the uh, truck here, um, we've still got to do the smaller delivery truck, we've still got to do the figurine pack in another video, um, as well as open up a ton more of these uh, mystery bags as we get them. So make sure you subscribe um, so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And it'll be great to see our store slowly go to come together. Um, I, did, I did just, like I mentioned before, I did quickly pause the video and go and check online and there was also instructions for where to lay out all of the different um, fittings inside the supermarket just to make sure that you are building your supermarket correctly uh, I think it's just a guide though you don't have to do that of course you can build it however you like but uh, there we go so make sure you subscribe like the video if you liked it um, leave a comment down below if you want to join in, to, in the competition to get this very same Dulux uh, starter pack hold on you can't even see it there you go um, but guys otherwise I hope you enjoyed the video have a great week, take care of yourself, and I will catch you next time.